What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to go plug this uh, Autel computer uh, diagnostic scanner into my um, Mercedes S550 Formatic uh, W221 body. So, uh, let's hop right into it. Let's open this bad boy up. This is the whole package, but we are going to be using that guy, and this guy, okay, also, we're going to need the wire, this is Bluetooth, but it needs to connect to the car. Master of the obvious around here. So, pop that drawer. You see this stuff is still in packages and all wrapped up because, you know, I like my stuff looking brand new. So, there you have it. Let's go hop into the bends. And we're in the bends. So, this is the W221 S550. And we are about to connect. We're about to connect. of this guy to this guy alright so. so and we're on let's just flip through everything and see what we come up with so this uh, we got the plug that has to go into the J box uh, but, uh, this is, oh, it's on the other side. Um, this, um, the OBD plug now has a little metal reinforcement, uh, clip in it, uh, for rigidity, longevity, uh, what have you. So it lasts a nice and long time. So let me go ahead and, uh, plug those two in. So we had a orange light there for a second, then it went green, and now as you can see the uh, blue light is now on. Okay, so that uh, means we're good to go. So back over here, let's take a look on the bottom there. See, the VCI is green, which means uh, we're connected, but uh, there's no green check mark next to the car so let's see if we can make that appear let's go with this um, loving these logos I mean, this this is so vivid colorful and fantastic so what we do is uh, instead of going doing anything else just go straight to auto detect unless uh, I mean that's for for us what we're doing um, if you guys are doing something specific, different story. So, uh, we are Mercedes-Benz. The LD is for light duty, which is the Sprinter style. You know, the Mercedes uh, Freightliner and uh, Dodge. All of them have that Sprinter style van. That's the Mercedes light duty, and smart is smart. So, this has detected the VIN. Uh, we hit OK. Decoding up to 09. Uh, this car is a 08. Steering. Press button left to select left hand steering. And we are here in US. There we go. S550 US. Then good. Yes. 08. Gasoline. 
Yes. So, we are, we got three options. I should actually probably turn the car off for this. The accessories on. Okay. So, we're back up and running here. So, we have three options. Diagnosis, hot function, and programming. So, let's go into diagnosis. And here we go. Oh, and by the way, notice the green light next to the car now, too. Once it reads the VIN, you got that uh, the green uh, check marks. Uh, so, let's go with the auto scan. Why not? Let's see how many modules we got here and how long this is going to take. It's nice that uh, it shows you the voltage right here in the corner, so you know exactly what's happening. Uh, the percentage is of how much is done with the car. My God, we're at 33 and 60% done only. So, uh, you can see the voltage in the car, so this is a monitor in case, you know, you don't get it too low, uh, so the car starts back up on you. Uh, you always get to monitor that right in the... Oh, check that out. The Navi just said diagnosis on it and went back to the map. Very interesting. wonder how deep this thing is diving. Oh my god, we're in 42 and still 80%. Okay, so, let's do a quick look here. So, motor electronics, here we got instrument cluster, all good stuff. And then you get to the adaptive brakes here, and you got a fault. Not good. Oh, check that out. So, here's what we have here, ECU, read codes, event code, erase codes, live data, active test. Well, <clears throat> let's take a look at what the code is first, I guess, because those active tests, they look good. I want to dive right into that and see what this baby can do. Stored, Y10, speed sensitive power steering, yeah solenoid valve the sps valve i uh got that thing this car has a couple of issues uh this being one of them uh so i got that valve um that thing is like i want to say like 250 bucks for like this little valve that controls how much power steering you get at what speed so this i know What's this freeze frame stuff? Frequency of the fault since the last clearance of the trouble code, 223. So this uh, is clearly, it's saying this is clearly the problem. So this gives you the kilometer reading as well. Uh, so 172. Uh, 1,864 kilometers is about uh, 107, 108,000 miles. Uh, so that's about right. Uh, vehicle speed and voltage. 11.6, 12.3. And the system is saying 11.8, which is right in between. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so... Let's go back, see what else we got. Freeze frame, search, we saw the freeze frame. Read codes, erase codes. Uh, actually, let's see what the active tests look like. Brake assist, huh? 
Oh, cause whoa, whoa. I don't know if the values are okay. Power sensor. Engine is running. Uh huh. Okay, well. I don't really want to do this. Speed sensitive power steering. Now, this is interesting because I have a problem with it. F4, difficult. Ah. It works. Okay. So this is the speed sensitive power steering solenoid value. Well, speed sensitive power steering test, right? So engine running, press F3 for to activate the assisted and F4 to activate the difficult. So right now we have the operated easily part and the wheel is actually super easy. Look at that, you can just throw it, okay? Um, now, let's go ahead and press F4. Difficult to operate, right? Okay, wheel, look at this. Now, it, it's hard to turn. Still moves, still okay, but you're gonna get a workout. It's very interesting. Press F3, wheel is easy to mo move again. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, so... That was the active test, and it passed. So how come I have a problem? At least I thought I had a problem. I have data. Hmm. Switches, RPM sensor, ESP sensor, pressure sensors. Brake assist system. Interesting, okay. What else we got? Boom, active graph, and I guess over there we can do whatever too, or no? No? Okay. Right? Okay. Got three dots. What else you got? This one? Hmm. Okay, and the basic stuff, I don't know, which one do you guys like, okay, so setting, setting, what even is it, show select, both of them, hmm, okay, Freeze. No, no. Okay, pressure, tire pressure, loss, Warner. Speed tronic, cruise controller, variable speed limiter. <coughs> speed limiter, huh? See, this one I can't... Oh, because it's not operated. Okay. So... Uh, max record select. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So that was that. Control unit adaptations. Road test. Okay. 
steering angle sensor clear the zero point offset error I don't even have that error okay calibration of the control oh that's interesting by the way my wheel went hard hard to turn that's interesting we're no longer in that screen wheel is hard to turn again so this computer can activate the system and make it work fine but when we're out of that test uh the car doesn't want to continue to to let it work or what's happening i don't know uh so the steering wheel is now not working as fluid as it did before when i activated it through the tablet uh, it's interesting that the tablet can turn it on but once you're out of that menu the car goes back to uh hating me basically so yeah i'm gonna have to throw that sensor in i know okay calibration of the control module anti-lock brake system okay uh let's say that's it for that one right so that was only one adaptive brake with a what why Hmm. Okay. So erase. Yes. Okay. 